everybody, it's Miss T. Are you guys ready to paint? I hope so. I have this really cool anchor painting that we are about to do. So get your kits ready, let's paint. To get started, we are gonna do the backdrop, which is gonna be pretty easy for us. We're gonna need the big paintbrush that came in your kit, and you're gonna need the blue and white. And we're just gonna put some stripes on here, okay? So before I put paint, I actually like to get my brush a little wet and then just kinda run it over my canvas. You don't want it to be dripping wet, but adding just a tad bit of water will help the paint um, blend better. Okay, then I'm actually just kind of drying off my brush just a little bit more, and then I'm gonna go in with some blue. Okay. Super easy blue and white stripes. Okay. And uh, don't forget, you're going to want to do the, the bottoms and the edges as you go. Or if that's something you like to leave to the end, that's cool too. So, go ahead and get the side here. This is a really pretty color. So. All right. Then I'm going to leave a little strip where I'll put the white. And then I'm just going to come over and go again. And these brushes, um, they're not palette painting brushes, but for such an easy backdrop of just these stripes, I think that it works okay. So, so just up and down the palette to keep it nice and smooth. And they do not have to be perfect because when we come back in with the white, you know, we're going to blend in the edges together. Okay. So I think I'm going to get about four blue stripes. That looks like three white once we get done. Now, I mean, you are more than welcome if you prefer bigger, thicker stripes or really skinny stripes. That is. Completely up to you. All right, so just putting on this last stripe over here. It is a little bit thinner than the other ones, but I think it's okay. Okay, so now, same brush, I'm just gonna go in um, in between the blue stripes, and it is okay if some of the blue gets into the white. I actually want it to do that. So I'm gonna overlap the edges just a little bit. See, my brush is actually still a little bit too wet. Let me see if I can squeeze some more out of it. So I'm like really like squeezing to get that excess water out. So. 
Make sure you run over your seams really well. You know, we, want, we don't want any harsh lines between the stripes. We just want them kind of to blend together. Okay. Oh, I'm really happy with the way that's looking though. When I seen this one, I just, I really liked it. And I thought you guys would like it too. So hopefully it works out for everybody. Okay. Can't see my top edge, but I can check it later. All right, so I'm pretty happy with how this all blended together. I think it actually looks pretty nice. So I'm gonna get out the blow dryer and get this all nice and dry. And then we're gonna come back and we're going to put our stencil on. So you'll need to grab your stencil and a pencil or a piece of chalk and uh, be back just a sec. All right, so the next thing is to put our anchor onto our canvas. And I wanted to make it easy for everybody, so we made these stencils with our Cricut machine. All I'm doing is I'm positioning my anchor right in the center of my canvas. Um, I made sure that my canvas was nice and dry because I didn't want this paper to stick to it. Um, I am going to use like a teeny tiny little piece of tape. I'm not even going to like really mash it down. Um, I'm gonna put it on the inside circle. And that's basically just to kind of hold it in place just a little bit. And then I'm just gonna, with a pencil, or you can use a piece of chalk, or you could even use your, your paintbrush if you wanted to. I'm just gonna put down a real light outline of my anchor. I'm gonna do the outline um, and then we'll fill it in. Um, you guys can go ahead and start painting it. I always like to outline it, kind of like with coloring, do an outline, and then stay inside the lines when you're painting. So to do the anchor, it is a gray color, and this part is um, customizable. Um, you guys can decide how light or dark you want your anchor to be. And so that is why you have a little plate in your bag so you can mix your colors up. So I'm going to start with, do probably about maybe three scoops of white. And then for the black, let me see if I can wipe this off. It's not gonna come off all the way. So I'm gonna rinse this off because I don't wanna get white paint in my black pot. So you um, all should have the little, um, it's a small popsicle stick and that is for you to mix your colors up. But if you don't wanna mix the colors in the pots, you know, you're gonna need to dip it in water and, and wipe it off as well. Okay, so this black is like very, very pigmented. Okay, you don't need a lot at all. And, but I do want it a little, I'd rather start with a little bit and then if it's not dark enough, then I can go back and add some more. So I'm really just kind of covering the tip of my little um, palette knife here with black and we're gonna mix this and see. Okay. So, but I would definitely suggest starting with a little bit of black at first if you haven't got to that part yet. So 
So to do the outlining portion, I'm gonna use the small detail brush that was in your bag. Okay, so I'm just gonna get, get, the, get the brush wet. Okay. Some of them are probably new, so you'll wanna you know, loosen up the bristles a little bit. Okay. And then, just gonna use a little bit of that paint. And I'm just gonna go ahead and outline. Just gonna start. Okay. This part is a little time consuming. I don't know about y'all, but I'm really liking the way this gray looks on top of this blue. I think it's very pretty. I'm going to turn it on again. And I'm actually going to lift it up a little bit. It's going to make it easier for me to reach the far side of the palette. Still keep it in frame for y'all to be able to see. And I do apologize. It's a little quiet. I tend to not talk as much when I'm concentrating. <laughs> I'm a really good multitasker, but when it comes to painting, there's just certain things that Almost done. Sorry if I'm a little slow for some of you. You may already be done. But. Okay. Keep it, oh, of course, get right here at the end and my hand's gonna get a little wobbly on me. Uh, that's okay, I should be able to fix it. 
All right, so <clears throat> there is the outline. I'm already really liking this, you guys. All right, and so now I'm going to switch brushes and just fill it in. To fill it in, I'm going to be using my medium-sized brush. Okay, just make it a little bit faster. I'm just going to load it up with some paint and then start filling it in. Hello. All right, to fill it in, I'm going to be using my medium sized brush. Okay, just make it a little bit faster. I'm just going to load it up with some paint and then start filling it in. So, most of you have probably done a paint program with me before. This probably isn't your first one. But if it is, welcome and thank you so much. Your support means a lot to us, to me. Uh, the one thing we do ask is um, if you are um, comfortable with it, we like for you guys to send us pictures of your finished works so that we can share your work on the library's Facebook page as well. If anyone is interested in doing that, the library's Facebook page, facebook.com backslash Union County Library, or you could send it as an attachment in an email. And the library's email is union, U-N-I-O-N, at Neflin, which is N E F L I N dot org. So union at Neflin dot org. That is the library's email address, or you could send it to the library's Facebook Messenger account. And usually Mary waits a couple days to see, you know, if we're going to get more than just a couple and then she'll put them all in a post and 
We just like sharing. And if you guys are awesome enough to share your works with us, then we want to be able to share them with the rest of the world. So that is an option. The other thing I really like about that is, um, you know, because I just find these images, you know, Google images or, you know, like I said, um, I got the idea for the anchor from the clip art that came in all of the information that was part of the summer theme, Tales and Tales. Um, so, um, I, I use Pinterest sometimes too, but sometimes Pinterest can be a little awkward. You know, you find something you like and then you go to click on it and it takes you to something totally random that you weren't even looking for. And yeah, you get, you get lost in a rabbit hole. So... I usually just stick with Google Images. It seems to work out pretty well. But, kind of got off on what I was actually talking about. But the reason I like for y'all to share your pictures is so that I can see, you know, a lot of you are like super talented. And a lot of you, everybody. You know, everybody has their own creativity. And when y'all branch out and do something a little bit different and then you share it, I don't know. I just, I really like seeing what you guys can come up with. All right, I'm just turning my canvas a little bit so I can do this top up here without getting my hand all in the wet paint. So yeah, so okay, I know that that was just like a whole bunch of ram uh, rambling, um, but the point was just to tell you guys that if you are comfortable with it, we would love for you to send us your completed works of art either through messenger or email and that's all that was the main thing but believe it or not um, some of some of the um, crafts that we have done in the past and then we've had you guys, you know, send us a picture of how yours turned out. Um, there's been a couple times where the images that someone else sent actually sparked a new idea. So, that's very cool when that happens. Rotate my canvas one more time. I'll flip it all the way around this way. And I'll finish up. So now I'm just kind of going back through. There was a couple places like around the edges where the paint was a little bit thicker. I'm just smoothing those out. 
it'll help it dry faster. I can fix that. It's like a little piece on the edge there, but I'm gonna come back and outline some of the anchor with black. So I'll be able to fix that. All right, so now that we have our anchor all filled in, oh my gosh, I love it. Are you guys loving the way it's looking so far? That gray, it just pops with that blue and white background, doesn't it? Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is a rope. Let me show you guys the picture that I am using as a reference. Okay, so this is what I'm going off of. Okay, um, the rope kind of winds around the anchor. Um, I put yellow and I'm pretty sure brown paints in your kits uh, then that would be for the rope if you do not want to do the rope yellow if you'd rather just have it all brown or black or you can do it whatever color you want or you cannot have a rope at all if that's what you want but that's the part that we're gonna do next okay all right so it comes and I'm going to use a pencil just to kind of trace out my line to begin with. Um, and then I can always go back with the paint. Okay, so it comes through the hole here. Alright, so I'm just going to kind of draw. It's going to come through the hole. And then it will come down and it's going to come behind. Kind of right here. So when I put the paint down, I'll make it more rope-like and not pointy edge type. All right, and then it's coming behind the anchor so you won't really see it. And then it'll come out on this side and it comes out a little and then in again. And this time when it comes across, it comes in front. Okay, and so it is going to come down and then it actually drops back behind the anchor again. And then it comes down off the page or off the canvas. All right. Okay, so the last thing we gotta do is put on the highlight and the outline. As you can see, I actually went ahead and outlined the anchor with just the black. Um, just because, again, uh, like in the beginning, outlining for me is a little time consuming. Um, so I just went ahead and did that off camera. Um, and ignore this little part of my rope. Um, I put black there on accident because I was not paying attention. Um, I'm on a little bit of a time crunch to get this finished up, so anyways so there's not too much left like i said get the outline done and i just went all the way around and then there's a couple extras let's see right here it does kind of like a a diamond shape but let me see i'm i'm gonna turn turn my canvas a little bit and see if that helps me okay so what it does is it kind of just goes Kind of like right in the middle. Okay, so it kind of does like that. Um, no, actually, that is not what it does. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to leave that for just a second. Oh, shoot. All right, so let's get this anchor finished up. I already outlined with the black as you can obviously see the last thing is there are a few more black accents i was going to do with you guys so up here 
or let's start um, on the sides. You've got your little um, balls on the ends here. One of them is going to be outlined in black on the inside, and that's just to kind of create more of the ball shape. But on the other side, there's highlight hitting it, so it's going to be mostly in white. Okay. Here, bringing this one around like this. Okay. All right, and then we've got some white here and over here on the outside of this one. Okay, some highlight on the outsides of the edges themselves okay and it just follows the shape all right and I already did the one up there at the top but there is one up above as well okay you guys can see that and then there is shading also here sorry not shading highlighting so just with the white Okay, and here, this one there, and we got some down this side on the outside in the water. Suppose this is to make it kind of look like maybe it's moving. Okay, and then there's some on this side of the anchor. All right, down here, there's a little. Over here is a little. Underneath. Same thing here on both sides of the rope. Okay. All right. And then over here on this. This side of the anchor is okay. I'm just kind of colored it in a little bit, and then on this side, it's up on the top side of it. Okay, all the way up. Okay, and then we have some here coming up around. And here, kind of coming down to the tip and then up the left side here. Okay, and you guys can do a, 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 as little or as more of this as you want. Okay, this is just extras. Um, I'm just kind of going back and just touching up some of them, making them a little bit darker, that white. Kind of, once it starts to dry, it's not nearly as dark as when it's wet. So, I may have to go back in and redo some of them. Um, let's see. And then we've got just redoing that. There was one other spot. Oh, right here. Right here on this corner underneath the rope. All right, so I think I got all of the highlight places. There's one more, but I actually have to put a design on here first. It's highlights though, they really make it start to pop, don't they? Okay, so now I'm, I'm going back into the black. And we've got black lines coming down here. And here.
This one's kind of coming like right down the middle, like from the top of the rope up to where the cross begins. And then there's another really, really small one on this edge here. This kind of goes down like that. And going across, kind of right in the middle on both sides. Doesn't go all the way across, just on the sides. And then right here in the middle, it makes kind of like a diamond shape. So I'm gonna turn my palette just a little bit because of my right hand. And it starts like this. I'm just doing a really, really faint outline. And then I can go back and darken it up. All right. So, see, oh, sorry, my hand is kind of covering what you guys can see. All right, let me see if I can do this. Okay, so it just kind of goes and get some enough paint. All right, so I'm going down and out, down and out, and then down. You see that on there? Yeah, it's showing up okay. And I'm just gonna trace over it. It's not super dark, just kind of like similar to the rest of the black lines on here. And they look really dark when you first put them on, but then they, they dry. And they're not as dark as they were. All right, so it looks like, oh, I see one other line that goes this one here. Kind of like we did with the balls. Okay, like with these balls to make them look separate right there. So that doesn't look all that great, but that's okay. And then there is a little bit of white right in here. Okay. And that is our completed picture. There we go. What do you guys think? I think it turned out pretty good. All right, so just um, drop some comments down below and let me know how you liked this. And I will be seeing everybody real soon. Bye guys.